All right, now you might have seen many videos on battery test results of Galaxy S22 Ultra and most of them are done running the phone at a stretch under the camera which doesn't give you the real life battery test results. Because there are a lot of factors such as phone calls, phone idle time, battery usage, network usage or maybe Android auto usage which are not taken into consideration. So here I am sharing the real life battery test results of this amazing phone, the S22 Ultra Snapdragon variant from Samsung. So before we go ahead, if you are into watching crisp and short tech contents, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you find it informational. Now let's dive right into this. I have tested the battery in three different settings. The first one is normal mode in which the display was set to 120Hz adaptive refresh rate, full HD plus resolution, adaptive battery was on, processing speed was set to optimized on which we will mostly use this phone and I would suggest you to do so unless you are a gamer. And then power saving mode was turned off obviously, always on display was set to tap to show, adaptive brightness was on, dark mode was on. With all these settings or in this scenario, I have got a screen on time of 8 hours 4 minutes with about 6% battery still left on the phone. That sounds fantastic isn't it? Of course I did use the phone moderately, uh, as you can see the usage here, the Netflix was used for about 1 hour 14 minutes, YouTube for about 1 plus hours. PUBG was played for about half an hour, Prime Video for about 48 minutes, Camera was used for about 21 minutes, WhatsApp, YouTube Studio, One UI Home, Battery use during calls you can see it's almost 3.2% and then Samsung Pay, Spotify, Google News, Truecaller and many other applications were used during this test. This gives you a more realistic figures of the screen on time with this setting. 8 hours on 120Hz with such a big screen is really good. Now let's move on to the next setting. This is with 120Hz adaptive refresh rate and WQHD resolution. Not on full HD, WQHD resolution which is the maximum resolution we have on this device. And using the phone on this setting is buttery smooth and you are going to love the screen here. On this settings, the rest of the settings were similar to the previous one. Adaptive battery was on, processing speed was optimized, power saving mode was of course off, AOD tap to show, adaptive brightness was on, dark mode was on. All these settings were similar to the previous test. Now surprisingly with this settings with 120Hz adaptive refresh rate on WQHD resolution, the phone still managed to give me a screen on time of 8 hours 5 minutes. That is really great. Again as you can see the usage here, YouTube was used for about 1.5 hours, Netflix for almost an hour, PUBG was played for about 43 minutes, One UI Home 1 hour plus, Prime Video 45 minutes, YouTube Studio, Camera was for about 12 minutes. Google News, Samsung Pay, battery use during the calls 3.2% and all the other applications. Again a moderate usage on this settings has given me about 8 or 5 minutes of screen on time with again 6% battery left. This was really a shocker. Now let's move to the third setting. This is on power saving mode. On this setting the display will be set to 60Hz refresh rate, full HD plus resolution, adaptive battery was on, processing speed optimized, power saving mode turned off. AOD will be completely turned off on this mode, adaptive brightness was on, dark mode was on. Now here I was left with about 29% of battery when I went to bed around 11pm and when I woke up in the morning the idle time drain was just about 5% which is not bad on an Android device. And then I used the phone with some more media playback for some time to kill the battery. In this scenario I had got about 9 plus hours of screen on time again with 6% battery left. This is a crazy screen on time we are getting on this device on all these three settings on a moderate usage of course. Now if you are a heavy user this SOT will reduce to maybe 6 to 7 hours depending on your usage which is still great on a device like this. Now the most important thing to note is the idle time battery drain is reasonably less compared to the Exynos flagships I have been using for years now. This phone here is a battery monster for sure. I remember the Note 10 Plus's battery life being similar to this phone. However, this phone rocks a 120Hz display and getting this kind of a screen on time on 120Hz display with WQHD turned on, that is just brilliant. Kudos to Samsung for bringing such a wonderful device this year. I'm in love with this phone. If at all you are worried about the battery life on this device, you can just close your eyes and go ahead buying this phone. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. There will be more contents coming on S22 Ultra, One UI, tips and tricks, Android applications, etc. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button if you find this video useful. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.